Hello, Jim and James, a second video, and now let's talk about your application. According to what you guys said, you're running uh, an application that is uh, running on Linux uh, and developed on Ruby, and today you're using a single credential. Single credential meaning that the people have to re-authenticate to the application, but they still use their Active Directory credentials. This may, may be because the application is developed maybe using LDAP in the back end, but the idea is to get to a point where either when you can use what is called Windows Integrated Authentication, um, uh, either via Kerberos, Espinego, and even basic authentication if needed. Um, Centrify provides just that because um, the Centrify agent provides uh, the, the, all the things required for you to be able to either leverage Kerberos or GSS API and it works out of the box just like it does with the Mac agent pretty much 80% of it so what I'm gonna do is that um, I'm gonna basically quickly walk you through the setup of that I have a, a machine that happens to be running Ruby uh, already I you know set it up this may be familiar to you it is running uh, Apache uh, Fusion Passenger uh, for uh, and uh, I know that there's some gems out there that can do GSS API. So the idea is to open your mind and see what can be done. I'm just going to Kerberize the machine real quick and see and show you what can be done. So what I have here is a couple of sessions. I've already, as you can see, I've already loaded the Centrify agent. Um, and I'm ready to comment out all this Apache stuff that re relates to, to Ruby. So... Um, uh, you know, just like you did, like we did before, uh, the step would be to you know an AD check, um, and we did that on the GUI, but it's the same corp, contoso.com. That's my lab, and notice that everything is ready to do the join. I actually have the command to do the join right here, just to make things really, really fast. So it's a um, uh, instead of using the AD join assistant, you could you could type a command and, or have that scripted for you. And here it's going to ask me for the user's password. That's the person in AD that can join machines to the domain. And one thing is, what you'll see quickly is that when I refresh right here, you know my, um, you know my send for machine is going to be um, looking up, and I'll be able to know even what OS is running. So it's running a CentOS 6.6. .6. Okay. The next thing I need to do is check if people can log into the machine. So I'm going to uh, duplicate a session here. Remember our user, Jim Demo. I'm going to go ahead and try and log in. And notice that, you know, hey, I was able to log in. I'm Jim Demo from, from Active Directory. No problem. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up the, um, you know, I'm going to re reconfigure Apache to, to be just Apache because I don't want the Ruby controller to take over. Uh, I'm going to set up the Apache agent and a sample application for your um, benefit. So I'm going to restart the, uh, the Apache service here. And um, if I refresh here, it just went back to playing all of Apache. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the Centrify um, plugin, SPNero plugin for Apache. So it would be an RPM minus UVH and centrify dc uh, yeah, apache there you go so that's going to put in basically um all the things that need to uh, for apache shared objects to it can use a centrify agent right um now what i can do is enable the sample application and this is just, just a simple include so i can just you know piggyback on what i've done and you know just edit the http.com file you know, they go towards the end, and I'm just going to inc include the the Centrify samples file, and uh, you know, I'm going to restart the the Apache service, and what you will see is that now, when I go to the samples page, I'm going to see the Centrify samples page. So in here, you can see that I have several ways to test authentication. I could do Kerberos. Who am I? Let's do a uh, clear here. Um, a K list. I am Jerry Seinfeld, and I have, you know, as you can see, I have 
uh, several several tickets here. I'm gonna go ahead and destroy them. So let's do a K list destroy. So now uh, or purge in Windows. So if I do a K list now, I got nothing. But if I want to do, let's just do the, the the hardest thing right away. Let's do Kerberos. Boom. Notice that I got Kerberos SSO. And what's important here is all the variables that are exposed to your developer. All this are variables that are accessible from Active Directory to make decisions, to make your application richer. That was with Kerberos. If I was logging in maybe, uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and launch a different browser. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and go to our Mac. And you know, I get, I, our friend Jim, Jim is in, in that particular Mac. And we can just go ahead and test with, you know, Center 5 Mac and see what happens. So it's uh, HTTP, uh, send for corpcontrolsoft.com slash samples. Well, let's, let's verify we're running Apache here. Boom. Okay. And uh, this is, again, so what's happened here is we have a uniform environment. We have Active Directory. We have a Linux join Active Directory machine that exposes Kerberos and GSS API. And we have a client that is a non Windows client that is also centrified. Another, um, you know, and uh, if we could do samples, let's take a look in here. Let's do Kerberos. And there you go. So this is all you need. What you need is, okay, you already have. The SSO infrastructure in AD. All you need is to have smarter clients also. So and 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 actually the browsers as well. So my Firefox is com configured accordingly. Your Chrome has to be configured ac accordingly, and all the underlying plumbing has to be enabled. And that that's what Centrify does for you. And I'm hoping that this helps you or your developer. But we're going to talk about this on Tuesday, and have a great weekend.